Welcome to the News at Noon. I'm Brenda Rodriguez. We start with this. A suspect in the murder of four University of Idaho students has been arrested in Pennsylvania. 28-year-old Brian Koberger was taken into custody this morning in Monroe County. Court records show Koberger is awaiting extradition to Idaho on a current or warrant for first-degree murder. A PhD student by the same name is listed in the Department of Criminal Justice and Criminology at Washington State University, which is a short drive across the state line from the University of Idaho. Moscow police will hold a news conference on the arrest at 2 p.m. We're going to bring that to you live on our website at ktbb.com. Also, a celebration of life is also planned today in Coeur d'Alene for Kaylee Gonzalez and Madison Mogan. They, along with Zaina Kronodal and Ethan Chapin, were stabbed to death at an on off campus home on November 13th. Today, crews will start cleaning the home where the students were killed, and a private company will perform remediation services, including the removal of potential biohazards and other harmful substance used to collect evidence. There is no timeline for how long this will take, and when the crews finish, the home will be returned to the uh, property management company. Until then, it will remain an active crime scene under Moscow police control. And our Joe Parrish joins us a lot, or joins us right now in studio. I understand that we just received a criminal complaint in, in the case. Yeah. Joe, what do we have on that? So this is a very quickly evolving situation, and I'll tell you this: the news we give you here at noon, it, it very quickly is evolving. So uh, as we learn more, we'll have more details for you coming up in our later newscasts, which we'll talk about first. But yes, this is a police cr criminal complaint, and really what I want to talk about here is it's the affidavit of probable cause. So there's not a lot of details right now, but this kind of shows us how we got to this point in the investigation. How there was an arrest made and I'll just read this from the police criminal complaint again this is uh, coming from the state of Pennsylvania they write on Thursday December 30th 2022 yesterday uh, today the Pennsylvania State Police were assisting the Moscow Police Department in Moscow Idaho Idaho State Police and the FBI with a criminal homicide investigation on the same day they write that Brian C. Koberger was taken into custody in Chestnut Hill Township in Monroe County Pennsylvania this is based on an active arrest warrant for murder in the first degree issued through the Moscow Police Department in the Leitao County Prosecutor's Office. So again, we're just reading this right now. A lot of this coming into our newsroom. Brenda, we do have a name right now. Again, this is a Brian Koberger, according to the uh, police criminal complaint. He's listed as a man who's six feet tall, 185 pounds, with blue eyes, brown hair. Uh, we showed you the photo here at the yeah. top, and I'm sure you'll see that um, later on in this program and our coverage as well. Uh, there are questions, though. How did officers find him? How did investigators find him? What is his connection to this case? These are all still questions that that we'll be asking, and I know journalists around the country will be asking, and there's a big press conference. We're going to carry it live at 2 p.m. today right here on KTVB, KTVB Plus, and KTVB.com. During that 2 o'clock news conference, we're not exactly sure what we're going to learn, but we get the impression from Moscow police that we're finally going to get a lot of answers that have been asked for well over a month now. Um, there's a lot of different intricacies in the situation, and there's a lot of, I guess, rumor and innuendo on social media. There is a situation we're learning about over on the Washington State campus in Pullman, Washington. Washington and Pullman, Washington, really only about 15 minutes away from where the situation happened uh, up in Moscow by the University of Idaho. Um, we can tell you right now, I actually just got off the phone uh, a short time ago with Matt Loveless. He's actually a, a professor, a journalism professor at Washington State, and he reports that there was a pair of Washington State police cars that are outside the Wilson Short Hall, and that's actually where Washington uh, State listed Brian Koberger having an office. As Brenda mentioned, we believe that he is connected to Washington State in the sense that he was in the criminology department. Department. There was also news up in the Pullman area that there's a police presence at an apartment located near the campus. Again, nothing has been confirmed right now, but based on circumstantial uh, things that we're seeing here today, it does appear that the uh, situation in Pullman is very likely related to what we're talking here right now. Again, though, what we can tell you for sure, and really the big headline, Brian Koberger has been arrested, a 28-year-old out of Pennsylvania. At this point, it is unclear to us what his connection to the situation is. We're going to have full details for you as much as we can coming up about just before 2 o'clock when we go live during our special report. Our Alexandra Duggan and our 7 Investigates team is working right now to find out more about the situation. I want to be very clear, though. Here in the next few hours, there's going to be a lot of things said and posted on social media. Some of it will be true. Some of it will be rumors. Some of it will be troll. Please keep your eye on the media sites that you trust the most, especially here on 7. Do not spread rumor. Do not spread innuendo. The police have this investigation under control. We are now learning more through this police criminal complaint. But, uh, Brenda, for now, this is what we know, and we'll keep an eye on yeah, it. It's very important. A lot of people have a lot of questions, so hopefully we get those answered. So yeah. thank you so much, Joe.